Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Affordable housing is a serious issue across Alberta, but in ridings like mine in rural Alberta, it's becoming a crisis. Housing is becoming less attainable, and layoffs are occurring across many industries due to the low price of oil. This makes affordable housing a very serious issue in rural Alberta. In my riding of Innisfil, Sylvan Lake, there are few to no opportunities for affordable and attainable housing. To the Minister of Human Services, given that this economic situation has made things worse for our lower-income families, what role will this government play in ensuring that those low-income individuals and families do not end up going homeless in rural Alberta? The Honourable Minister of Human Services. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Regardless of the economic climate, we want to see that every Alberta family has a good quality of life and access to supports when they need them. Albertans can contact Alberta Supports with knowledgeable staff to help them to find uh, basic needs like, base, like food, clothing and shelter, of course, or even health benefits and getting child support payments. In addition, we have 53 Alberta Works offices across Alberta for help and training for individuals to enhance their skills or to advance their careers. First supplemental. To the same minister, given that the government is facing a $7 billion shortfall this fiscal year, how will the government ensure that attainable and affordable housing remains a priority, and will they review all options and partnerships to build more affordable, attainable housing in rural Alberta? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And we know that more than 10,500 people have received housing wraparound support since the launch of the Housing First program. Currently working with the Minister of Seniors on a housing strategy, and I think partnerships are absolutely essential. I look at the Alberta Rural Development Network and some of their great ideas. I look forward to working with many partners just like them. Final supplemental. To the Minister of Jobs, Skills, Training and Labour, given that rural Alberta has unique challenges to access affordable and attainable housing, what is your ministry doing to promote employment in rural Alberta specifically to ensure that Albertans are not forced to always rely on the use of government programs? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, things we deal with in our ministry are people without jobs and jobs without people. Uh, in January, Mr. Speaker, with Human Services uh, and the federal government, we uh, helped fund Women, women Building Futures online program to help uh, train women in the trades so that they can get some of those high-paying jobs and, uh, and uh, look after themselves. Uh, we're also working to educate and uh, train Alberta's workers with the federal government through the Canada Alberta Job Grant. Mr. Speaker, more than 490 Alberta employers have, uh, and 3,450 employees have already benefited. And Mr. Speaker, there's more to come.